about Happy Thanksgiving. I'm looking forward to some turkey and pumpkin pie and dressing and a win. <laughs> the Hawkeyes. Uh, the Hawkeyes are very, very good. They are a well-oiled offensive machine. Uh, I'll be really honest with you. I don't know that Iowa has a weakness offensively. Um, they have everybody back but one from a year ago. They have an All-American at the point guard position. Uh, they have first, uh, first uh, big ten, all Big Ten at the center position. Um, and they score in a variety of ways. They score in transition. They shoot the three. Um, they can score inside out. They are very, very good. Uh, almost five kids average in double, double digits. Um, I think with Iowa, um, you have to be able to make shots. Okay, because they really, really want to score. You got to be able to try to limit their possessions, um, and you're going to get good shots. You got to be able to step up and knock them down. Uh, you have to uh, take care of the basketball, um, limit your turnovers, and then you got to make sure you get back in transition because they really feed off of pushing in transition and kicking out to their shooters uh, for for wide open threes. Um, but Offensively, they're as good as I've seen in a long, long time in terms of having five people on the floor that can score and score in a variety of ways. So there's no question we have our work cut out for us. Uh, we don't have to play perfect. I don't think that there is such a thing, uh, but our margin for error is small in the fact that we're, we're going to have to step up and make shots because we're going to get shots, and then we have to make sure that we are in tune to scout and report defense we have to be able to, to limit their possessions and then take care of the basketball. Uh, so we're looking forward to the challenge. I think they're ranked 17th. Um, they just uh, won their own classic over the weekend with a very good game against Dayton. Um, matter of fact, Iowa was down 10 with about eight minutes to go. And that's when I talk about they can score in a variety of ways and they found a way to come back. And I believe they ended up winning that game by five. But um, they scored in a variety of ways. They hit some threes. They scored in transition. They scored inside out. Um, they're as good as I've seen offensively. Are there any questions? Thinking about the Panthers offense, what have you thought about the execution on your side since the exhibition game? Our offense is good. I mean, we, we go to Akron, we score 73 points. You should win when you score 73 points. So the, the our problem was on the, wasn't on the offensive end, it was on the defensive end. You can't give up 84 points. We didn't do a very good job of Akron of staying in tune to our scouting report defensive and making in-game adjustments in terms of what we needed to do um, to get stops. But I like what we're doing offensively. Um, we, too, have several kids that are scoring in double digits. Um, uh, Jim Keitel's averaging a double-double. Amber Sorensen is, is averaging 14 and 9. So we have some kids that are scoring. Uh, we just have to make sure uh, that we continue to execute on the offensive end. But we've got to defend better. We've got to defend better. And honestly, we've done a, a great job of rebounding the basketball. That was, that was a question that I had coming in, in terms of our ability to rebound. Uh, we've won the rebounding battle in both games. Uh, we've got to continue to do that. That's going to be a big factor tomorrow. Uh, but we've got to make sure that we get locked in and stay in tune to a scouting report defense. Any other questions? Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>